In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install mods on Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do is close out your game if you have it open and then go ahead and open up your web browser. Now, in order to run mods, you will need to have Java downloaded on your computer. So I'll have this linked in the description as well as for Mac and Linux, if you don't already have it downloaded. So now let's go to Google and we're going to type in Minecraft Forge, then go ahead and search that. And we're going to select the first link. It should say Forge Files. Now that's going to bring us to this page here. And when it comes to running mods on Minecraft, you need to ensure that Forge, the mod launcher, is compatible with the mods you're going to be running. So if you take a look to the left sidebar, you'll see all of these different Minecraft versions. And you just need to ensure the one you select is going to match the mods you're going to be using. So we're going to go with the newest version, 1.20.4. And then we're going to select installer. Now this is going to bring us to another page where we have to wait about five seconds for this to allow us to download it. So you'll see in the top right corner, we have one more second and now we can skip this part and you'll see we have a download started right here. So once the forge installer is finished downloading, then we'll be able to open it. So the forge installer has opened up. Now we're going to be selecting install client and then just go to okay. So this should only take a couple of moments. I already had it downloaded, so it took only a couple of seconds. Then just go ahead and press OK. And now let's go back to our web browser. And two very popular websites to download Minecraft mods are curseforge.com and there's also modrinth.com. Now in this video, we're going to be using curseforge. So let's go ahead and select a Minecraft on the home menu. And then I'm going to be selecting view all. Now this is going to bring us to this page here and you want to ensure on the left sidebar that Forge is selected for the mod loader. And we want to select our game version that we've downloaded of Forge, which was 1.20.4. Now do bear in mind, because a lot of people make this mistake, they've put in these filters and then people see these mods and they'll press download. The problem is it doesn't download what you filtered here. So let's first go to sort by and I'm going to go to popularity. So we're going to select a mod here. A mod I like to download is just a little bit lower and it's called Journey Map. Now you can select any mod you'd like, but don't press download. Instead, click on the mod. Then you want to go to files and you need to actually sort for the one you want to download. So at the top, you'll see filters. So game version, we want it 1.20.4. And for all mod loaders, change it to forge. Now these are the correct ones that you can actually download. It's very tricky. So 1.2.4 forge, I'm going to select the three dots and go to download file. And in the top right corner, it'll pop up in a second here. We have to wait for the download to start similar to forge and you'll see it started downloading. So once it's finished downloading, you can press the folder icon and this is going to open it up in downloads. And we're going to be minimizing this a little bit. And what you want to do is drag this mod onto your desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have it right here. Now let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. And the first time you use Forge, you will have to change this. So it should look like this for you. You wanna change this to Forge. And if you don't see Forge there, the thing I recommend you do is go up to installations, ensure that modded is turned on so you should be able to see it and you can play with it. Now, if you still can't see it, Try going to new installation. Now for the name, you can give it any name you'd like. I'm just going to change it to loader. Then for version, select the drop down menu and you want to look for a release 1.20.4-forge or whatever version you downloaded of Forge and it should be in this list here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and select click here. So it's going to use the .minecraft game directory. And then you want to select your resolution. And I'm just going to go with my resolution on my monitor and then just go to create down at the bottom. Now that's going to give you a version you could try to launch here. So press play. And if you had a forge pop up the first time, just go ahead and press play or go back here and make sure it's on forge and you can press play. So then your game should launch. Now that the game is launched with Forge, what we're going to do is go to mods and you'll see there's no mods on here except Forge and then we have Minecraft, which isn't a mod. So we're going to go to open mods folder. And what you want to do is take this file, this mod that you've downloaded from CurseForge and you want to drag it into this here. Now, once you've done that, it's not going to immediately pop up. We actually have to close out the game. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to launch it again with Forge. So once you're back in the Minecraft launcher, ensure that you're on Forge again, and then go press play. 
So once the game is booted up, let's go to mods to ensure that it's downloaded properly. And here you'll see journey map. So we've officially added this mod. So if you want to use your mod, let's go to single player and we're going to open up our game. So we've booted up the game. And as you can see in the top right corner, the mod is working. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.